Facebook, the international company, has cracked down on fake news and its originators in India. A concerted, malicious online propaganda cloaked in the anonymity of social media seems to be the new weapon to decimate political rivals after Facebook removed 687 pages linked to the IT cell of the Congress for coordinated, inauthentic behavior. It boils down to, in a coordinated manner, putting out inauthenticated content to influence whom? The voter. As a result of this crackdown by Facebook, not by the Indian government, but by Facebook, which indicts the Congress, overwhelmingly, the BJP has come out and claimed that Congress uses the crutch of jhoot to target the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister has been saying this about Rahul Gandhi for now weeks, and it seems that Facebook, the international company, agrees and has made these particular websites inactive. These are the facts. Viewers, 687 pages linked to the Congress have been found to be using a coordinated, inauthentic manner or exhibiting coordinated, inauthentic behavior to spread fake news about the Prime Minister. A cornered Congress has countered by pointing out that 15 such banned pages are linked also to a firm which created the NAMO app. But till now, the Congress has not been able to link this firm to the BJP. And most significantly, Facebook has singled out the Congress for blame. Now, since politics is about perception rather than facts, sometimes our political parties like the Congress using fake news to influence voters and undermine democracy, choice, and a whole other plethora of uh, decisive factors that go into determining the outcome of an election. Here is Ravi Shankar Prasad clashing with Kapil Sibal on this issue. Listen to this. Is Congress party so desperate that it is seeking to use fake news, fake platform to spread uh, falsehood against the Modi government. So, we want that wherever there is such a situation, we need to block it. But here, this is the highway. They have opened the highway. There is no block in that. Yes, 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 there is no block in that. Well, the simple question is, can Congress party explain why pages linked to it, to its party, are propagating coordinated fakery? And who is behind this coordinated fakery? Is it a Congress leader? Is it some brain in the Congress party that ill advises the public, makes them believe that there is a lot of fakery happening from the BJP side? And there are some big examples because the BJP has targeted the Congress saying that it spells out fake news. Here are some of the issues on which the BJP has accused the Congress of spreading fake news. And was some of this, did it originate from these pages linked to the Congress party? First, Rafal, it says that the Congress has been saying that NDA Rafal deal was overpriced and Reliance benefited. Nizam Bhai is going to pull out that particular graphic and fire it for you. BJP's counter has been simple. Both Supreme Court and CAG have cleared the deal. Judge Loya's death, the BJP says that the Supreme Court dismissed the charges as false, called the plea for probe motivated. There you can see it. Congress said death was unnatural. Courts must order investigation that he was killed to benefit Amit Shah. On bank loan waivers, the BJP says the Congress has been misleading the public by saying that 2.5 like crores of 15 industrialists were waived off. BJP's counter is that not one rupee of loan waived, NPA's worth crores recovered. Now, there are many such instances, EVM issue, then there was the GST issue, the demo issue, viewers, it's all there. This is what the BJP claims the Congress has been up to. And today, Facebook, an international independent agency, has come out and delinked, banned some of these pages. What does this mean? Let's open this up. Ashutosh, Suman C. Raman, let me begin with you, Suman C. Raman. This is a very serious charge. It's not being made by the Election Commission. It's not being made by the BJP. It's not being made by the government. It's not being made by the IT ministers being made by Facebook, sir. 
Facebook. Okay, um, Rahul, perhaps you would first answer about the, uh, uh, the those pages linked to Silver Touch, which have also been taken off. Now, maybe you'd like to answer to that. I the said second so. Part I but want can to point you prove? Is every single can you prove day, that this organization is no, linked to the BJP? No, no, no. One second. One second. One no, no. Second. One second. Then one, why hasn't? One, no. One, one minute. One, then one why second, has Rahul, Facebook second, not linked? No, 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 no. no. Not one, linked one, one this particular agency hmm. to the BJP. Why is it only named the Congress? Can you answer this? Facebook, why should, why should Facebook link it? Why should Facebook link because it? Because it's linked the Congress Facebook pages to the, the Congress. So it who should has, have linked the BJP the pages app? to the BJP. No, no, no. That, that no. is fine. Because they what do you have, mean? Can I they may have put it out themselves. See, the issue is oh, very come on, simple. sir. What are you Every saying? Every single day on social media. So Facebook, now you're questioning you Facebook Twitter, partiality. No, you take Twitter. Every sir, who day is the boss Twitter of Facebook? Can you tell me who is the first? No, no, who is the face pro, of Facebook? You know, which sir. are putting out pro ruling party stuff. Who is the boss Every of Facebook? Every other day, don't we get Twitter blocking handles for spreading fake news? Look, can the I ask you a question? Is, fake news started exploding four, three, four years ago. Sir, can I ask you a One question? One side was leading heavily. Now the other side is catching up. The Congress was a late start. So it should be justified. Face, uh, fake news uh, game. Can I come in? It, it was way behind the BJP. And only, so it should be justified. only of late that the two sides okay. have been in fairly an even contest. Okay, it's Seriously. not an even contest, sir. I mean, Quite what, clearly, what happened for the last Had it been years, an the even contest, even Mark Zuckerberg's Facebook would have indicted both the BJP and the Congress. Facebook has only indicted the Congress party. Why, do, why, so do, please. why, are, you, why are you looking only at what Facebook has done now? That's the debate, sir. That's earlier. what the debate is about. Why don't you look at some of the tweets that are being put out by ministers? Why not? Did you see the tweet which uh, was fast my dear man, with my dear man, do you know about IDT, the reach of Facebook, Sunday sir? Barat Express. It Did overwhelms Twitter. Twitter is a peanut sir, compared to sir. Facebook. It's an ant. No, no, no. You should know this. Look, so, so basically, what do you know the American now, election was completely rigged, sir, Twitter, on Facebook according to the American opposition, not according to me? No, no. But There's an investigation is, going on exactly in America. What? You know this. No, no. One you know second. how pernicious Rahul. the medium is. There have been riots in. Rahul, you're there have been Hindu. Okay one second. Twitter, there have been Hindu, Buddhist, Facebook. and Muslim riots, sir, in Sri Lanka. And Facebook had it to answer. You know this. Why are you trying to play dumb? There have been lynchings yeah. in India because of fakery Rahul, on fake Allah Facebook. Okay. Come in also. Fake Let the BJP respond. Sir, there are page linked to you. Parties. There is a page linked to you. How do you respond okay. to this? There is an agency that is linked to you. Those pages have also been, 15 of those pages have also been cut off. Explain. Mr. Bhatia. You know, Rahul, first of all, there, yes, there is a direct nexus that has been found by uh, Facebook, which is independent completely. And these 687 Facebook pages have links with members of the Congress IT cell. The example that you are giving me. Uh, in BJP's case, it's not the same on facts. Secondly, you remember the days when we were debating Cambridge Analytica model? What did the Cambridge Analytica model uh, spell out for the Congress? It was that spread fake news, spread hatred, spew venom, divide society on the basis of uh, caste and religion. And that is exactly what the Congress has been doing following the Cambridge Analytica model. And there is a reason for doing that. And uh, in the earlier debate, we discussed the Lingayat issue. That was also on the basis of Cambridge Analytica. They feel that if the entire country it's votes Harvindu? on the basis of good work done by Narendra Modi ji, or on the basis of development, Sabka Saad, Sabka Vikas, the Congress and the opposition has no chance. Their only chance would be if they can fragment and divide the votes of the majority community, especially spread hatred, and that is exactly what we have seen Sir, today. Answer the charge. This revelation Silver becomes Dutch, very important. Allegedly linked to the Namo app was also neutered today. You need to explain. Is it linked to you? No, no, I can't. I I cannot explain for the reason I'll tell you. Say first of all, it needs to be looked into, and if there is a company. That does anything wrong. The BJP will always stand for strong action against that company. Just because they developed an app or provided service to us does not directly create a nexus if they have done something wrong. I say it on your program very responsibly that the BJP has always maintained the highest standards. But with 687 Facebook pages linked directly to the members 
of the IT cell of okay. the Congress. Ashutosh. I think it's a serious cause of concern, Ashutosh. especially by the Facebook company yes. itself. Concern apart, Ashutosh, concern apart. This is a serious <coughs> embarrassment yeah. in the perceptorial game for the Congress party. Is it spreading in the words of the BJP Jhoot, in the words of the Prime Minister Jhoot, on various issues to influence the electorate, perhaps even unsuspecting yeah. commentators like uh, Suman C. Raman and yourself? Maybe you're a victim of propaganda. Uh, no, we do our Rahul, family. I think what it, what it signifies is that Congress is that Congress IT cell is very, very incompetent in handling social media issues. If somebody yes, is trying to tell like me that it is leader. only the Congress related people are indulging into these kind of things, I am not going to believe it. I know for fact because I had done some but kind of research. But sir, can I, can I, can I, can I, can you, can you say that this is incompetence? Can I read out, sir, what Facebook has said? One minute, Mr. Bhatia, one second, please. No, 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 I know. I know. No, no, one minute. I need no, to no, read no, out Raul, to you, Mr. Ashutosh. This is very serious. Let, me read, this 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 Let me read this out. Let me read this out, sir. Indulge me. 30 seconds. It won't take 30 seconds. The operations we found to be engaged in coordinated. Listen to this, viewers. Coordinated, inauthentic behavior. It's a nice way of saying fake news. Coordinated, inauthentic behavior with two distinct sets of activity in India and one network in Pakistan. The Congress linked pages are coordinating with Pakistan. Viewers, this is absolutely a shocker. Russia is can thought I, to have interfered with the Trump campaign. Elected him. <laughs> Elected him. There's an inquiry going on. Do we now need to inquire whether the Congress IT cell coordinates with Pakistan to influence voter behavior in this country? Can I... This is a point of inflection, viewers. Rahul, this is very can serious. Ashutosh ji, respond. Can, can I react? Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> Ashutosh ji, react. Yeah, yeah, I'm responding. I think you know what the... I know I know what, what, what Mueller's report is about Donald Trump. He has not found a direct connect between the Donald Trump and the Russian connection. That is very clear on this point. So, what I'm okay. trying to tell you is that Congress has no, been ridiculously No, he has left this matter to the Attorney General, sir. He has left this matter to the Attorney General. He has been very, very I politic. Don't, don't mislead me, sir. Rahul. I don't read fake news. Rahul. I read the real Rahul. news. I'm up with the real no, news. No, no, no. You know I'm what he has done. Mueller. He's passed the buck in I'm America. Of, no, I'm, I'm talking about this country. You. I'm talking about Mueller who has been investigating Sir, I'm telling you about Mueller. Mueller investigated, submitted the report, and he said ultimately it is for the Attorney Generals to take a call. Has he not said that? Did he not say that it is for the attorney generals in America to take the call? No, no, Rahul, don't Rahul, be selective. On no, no, times now, said, don't be selective. Mullah has not found any direct Rahul, connection. Sir, he has no, said it is for the attorney Mueller generals to take a call, final call. Donald Trump and the Russian. No, no, sir, Rahul, he has taken Rahul, he a decision. No, no, that's a different thing altogether. But has Mullah found a direct connection sir, with Donald Trump? He, and sir, and, and, he has and, uh, left that to the wisdom of the attorney general. It's very simple. Now, one may stop shouting. The point is not that. Forget America. America can go to hell. I'm talking about India. And I'm talking about a coordinated, and I'm not saying it, coordinated, inauthentic behavior with two sets of activity in India and one network in Pakistan. Sir, is Pakistan being used? Is there a collusion I, between elements in the Congress party and in Pakistan to undermine our democracy, I, influence I, our voters and get rid of Modi? Rahul? That's the question. It's not looking good. Ashutosh ji. Rahul, Rahul can, I, can I respond? Yes. Can I respond? Of course. Can I respond? Of course. I think, I think, let's not get schizophrenic about Pakistan. I'm telling you with all fairness, let's not get schizophrenic about Pakistan because that shows that India still has not grown big. I think the BJP and the RSS and anybody who talks about Pakistan, it gets into my goat. Pakistan is not that big. Let's forget about Pakistan. Allow India me. is Rahul. far bigger than Pakistan. Let's not get schizophrenic about Pakistan. Pakistan is nothing in front of India. As long as we are focused and, 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 and cynical about Pakistan, India will never grow into, into a big, big, big political power. Why we give so much importance to Pakistan? 
Let's let let's leave Pakistan. Uh, we have Raul, to go ahead. We have the fast How convenient, sir. Order. How convenient. Why we are so How convenient. How convenient, this. sir. How convenient. It's not How convenient. very convenient. We should not get schizoid about Pakistan. It's just a small little thing. We shouldn't bother about it. And when the prime minister or anyone else says that we should then move in and do something to prove our supremacy, these very people say it's a nuclear power. Be careful where you tread. Their bark is worse than their bite, and their bite is even worse than their bark. That's what we are told. So, so viewers, so I don't know who's the, being schizophrenic about Pakistan. At one level, we say it's a nuclear power that can destroy India. On the other hand, we say it's nothing, don't bother about it. There is, I'm not saying it, Facebook is saying it, viewers, a coordinated activity. I'm leaving it at that. It is for an investigation now to determine what kind of coordinated activity that's going on between the Congress and uh, Pakistan. We need to find this out, viewers, very serious today. We leave it at that.